Hi, welcome to Jeremy's Tech Channel, and today I'm going to walk you through step by step what I went through to install Linux on my Dell G15 gaming laptop. As I've stated before, I've decided to go through this weird, unique journey to buy a brand new laptop specifically designed for gaming, install Linux on it, and then use it for video production, audio production, gaming, all kinds of things that when I first was introduced to Linux were kind of um, more challenging things to do. So we're gonna find out together. And today we're gonna walk through installing Linux on this thing. So what I'm gonna do is show you my desktop real quick, uh, pull up Vert Manager, show you what I went through on my install process, and then walk through any snags that I might have had doing this. Just to let you know, um, I decided to use the Linux distribution Endeavor OS, and Endeavor OS is an Arch-based Linux distribution. Uh, for those of you who don't know what Arch means or distribution means, long story short, a distribution is like a flavor of Linux, um, uh, an intentional way of designing how to use uh, Linux, putting things together so that it's easy for certain kinds of users. Um, and I chose an Arch-based uh, system, which is a kind of operating system that allows for rolling releases. That means you typically get the latest and greatest software and they just keep rolling out these um, updates. A different way to do it is called a point release. That is where, you know, every six months or every year or whenever they feel like it's stable and ready, they will update. So real quick, why I'm choosing to do this is one, I'm a glutton for punishment. Two, uh, I'm very interested in open source uh, philosophy and mindset. I'm learning about it. Um, as you'll see um, in the videos coming up, I'm still really heavily leaning on proprietary software right now. Um, and number three, I'm really not liking the direction of Microsoft Windows or Apple Mac um, OS uh, design and where they're going. And so I want to have the ability to tweak and, and work with things um, and have fun. So I chose Endeavor OS and uh, let's figure out what's going to happen here. Spoiler alert, it was easy to install. You need to ensure on your PC that you disable safe boot and you do that in your BIOS and then you're ready to install Linux. Let's get to my desktop and I'll pull up um, a virtual machine through Vert Manager and I'll walk you through the install process and show you my desktop. All right, so what I'm going to do is just walk through the installer here. Um, if you've never seen this kind of stuff before, I know the resolution is a little odd at this point, but once we get it installed, we'll, we'll make it uh, nice and big and we'll walk through some things. So uh, this is called the Calamaris installer. It's a graphical user way to install Linux. Um, as you're gonna see, it makes it pretty easy. So I'm gonna click on start the installer. Oh, by the way, as you can see, you can sit there and get a sense of what it's going to be like to be installed on your system, but before you even do it. If you're worried about that, if you're worried about things getting messed up, well, you can test it and see if your hardware works. That's pretty cool. Live environment is what they call that. So here we go, we'll start the installer. We want to do the online mode. You can install it offline and it'll install exactly the way you see it here. If you do it in the in online installer mode, you have some other options. So here we go, online. Text on the screen. It's no big deal. All right, here's the graphic side of things. Yes, obviously American English for me. That's right, English keyboard. Okay. I'm going to erase the disk. I'm going to use BetterFS with no swap partition. Um, swap partition was an old school way of giving your, your computer some access to 
essentially a way like RAM, like random access memory to allow it to access things a little quicker. Um, with my amount of uh, hardware uh, specs, I'm not going to need that, even on a virtual machine. And BetterFS, um, me reading up on it, allows me to do some backup uh, quite easily, kind of like a, a time machine in Mac OS. And so I like that. Here we go. Next. So here's the, the advantage of using the online installer. I have some options here that uh, different desktop environments. If you don't know what desktop environment you want, might I make a suggestion of KDE or GNOME? Um, but any of these will work well. I chose KDE, so I'm going to choose that one so you can see what I saw when I first got my computer going. Um, I did support for HP printer scanner and printing support. Um, I know I just said I wanted to learn about open source software, but still have an HP printer, still have to print things. I am not a fan of paper, but you got to do what you got to do. So here we go. Next. All right. Here we go. This is me. What's the name you want to log in? That one. I don't want this long code here. So I'm just going to call this EO for Endeavor OS test. And then a password. And you guys know the deal with passwords. And here we go. Next. Install. It will in be installed. Now they got the suite graphic situation and um, the last time I did this on my actual hardware it didn't take that long um, it took I don't remember 10 minutes you know maybe 15 um, but when we get done installing this so you don't have to sit there and wait 10 to 15 minutes for this to install I'll cut to the screen um, so you can see what the finished install looks like All right, so here we are. This is what happens when you install the KDE desktop environment version of Endeavor OS. So it's pretty sweet. Um, here we go. You get this welcome. And this is the one of the reasons why I chose Endeavor OS over just trying to do um, basic Arch Linux. Um, Arch Linux, you need a wiki um, to install it. Just following the instructions, not a graphic in installer, and I probably can follow instructions. But since this is my first foray in a long time at Linux, I wanted some help. And Endeavor OS gives you the tools you need to get going. Um, so you can update your mirrors, update your system. Remember, this is a system that continually updates. So you need to make sure that you're connected to the most update mirror um, to get your system updated um, as quick as possible. No one wants to sit around and wait on that. You also have some cool things like downloading their default wallpapers, all of those kinds of things. Um, you can change your display manager. Um, I just use the basic KDE one, the SDDM. For me, that's fine. What if? You've got your basic information about Linux, uh, specifically Endeavor OS right here. Um, I've been on the forum some. Seem to be pretty helpful. Uh, assistant, here we go. These packages here, these Arch um, AUR packages, all they are is, is software that you, essentially software, it's not technically software. It's software that you can use and install on your system. Everything you could want, it's there. Um, some tips on how to do this. So if you're unsure about doing this, hey, you got the option here. So it goes and it looks something like this. And then when you go through and you can tweak um, and just kind of get under the hood, this is what my desktop looks like. You may like the aesthetic of it, you may not, but that's the beauty of Linux, um, that I can do this and do it however I want. 
Um, everything, as you can tell, my Mac background and influence is here. Um, and I like that. And I like having this. And I like being able to put my favorites over here. And I like being able to type for something like uh, Steam. And Steam pops up. I know I have it on a favorites, but I just wanted to show you that search function. And if those of you are like, it's a gaming laptop. Show me how you game. Okay. So here we go. I'm not going to actually game that much. But uh, as you can see, I'm pulling up Steam. And, you know, it is just like your Steam on your computer. Go to my library. Look at that. All of my stuff there. Here's some Splitgate. Can you play Windows games? As you can see, I have Apex Legends here. It works. There's an update queued, and I don't feel like doing that right now. But here you go. Splitgate. I mean, it works great. Boom, claim my reward. Woohoo! Um, and here we are. And I've never done this with OBS. So, huh, who knows what's going to happen? No big deal. Uh, once again, if you're noticing some glitching on my video, oh, look, we're uh, we're actually going here. Um, oh, we're waiting on the arena. Um, I am connecting my phone through OBS, um, through DroidCam wirelessly, and I'm having some funkiness with my wireless network. And, but as you can see, woohoo! Plenty going on. Plenty, plenty, plenty. Okay, now we're gonna, I guess, let's do PS Team Deathmatch. Let's see if everyone else wants to do that. Okay, everyone else wants to do that. Um, what kind of frame rates are you getting? I don't know. I'll install some of this stuff. This is just a quick showing for you guys of what, what it looks like. What it is, what it is, what it is. I'm gonna do this for like another 30 seconds, minute, and then Game we're going to starts in get five, going here. Four, because three, who wants to see two, me die a whole bunch one, of times on Split Game? Fiesta. No one. No one wants to see that, you see? I'm just gonna go charging Lost in. The All right. Exit match. Yes, I want to exit match. All right. I'm going to exit to desktop. Boom. I have that. Uh, email client. Look, guys. I have DaVinci Resolve installed. It's probably going to go onto my other screen. But it works. It works great. Um, what else? You know, the install process. Here, I'll do this. The install process was quite simple. The configuration for me personally, what I would like and how I want to work, is quite simple. I did run into some snags trying to install DaVinci Resolve, trying to um, learn about some things. Uh, they had Bluetooth disabled by default for security reasons, and so I had to uh, install a couple of things to get Bluetooth running, but my Bluetooth headset works fine, no problem. Um, NVIDIA graphics drivers, easy to install, no problems. Um, and as you saw, I mean, gaming works. Video editing works. If you stuck through this whole video, thank you. Would you give me a like and subscribe? Um, this is going to be a lot of fun content. I'm going to show you all the kinds of things, uh, how to install DaVinci Resolve, what that's like, um, gaming, um, just my experiences with Linux as I'm learning. This is going to be a fantastic journey. Jump on for the ride. Endeavor, if you will. See you later.